So the great day comes round again, the day of the toughest steeplechase in the world, when punters as well as horses jump to it. The horses for luck and the punters for lucre. This year the Grand National celebrates its 100th birthday and there are 37 runners, seven more than there are jumps, over a four and a half mile course. No, it isn't Ascot, it's Aintree in March. Royal Mail looks well, Killstar the favourite, in fact they all look good. Ah, here's Workman now, what do you know about that? It's a nice sunny day with a sharp breeze, no Bonnier bunch ever paraded before the packed stands. Well, you all know that Workman number 16 won, and now we'll show you how he did it. All set. They're away, with Rockwilla taking the lead. At the first jump, Berth Gift heads the bunch. Hello, hello, there's one down. Two more, and another. Brendan's Cottage, Drim, War Vessel, Mesmerist, and Team Willow. And five good jockeys out of luck. At the third fence, Royal Danielli is leading, and Dunhill Castle bites the dust. Beaches Brook is just a graceful walkover for Royal Danielli, Birth Gift, and Sporting Piper, with Underbid moving up. Epiphanies is down there. And at the seventh, Royal Danielli goes down. At the canal turn, so usually the graveyard of many hopes, Birth Gift is closely followed by Sporting Piper. Valentines, they're coming over well now. No, Rockwilla is down, and Luckpenny is unlucky. At the tenth, Sporting Piper jumps to the front, followed by Birth Gift. Workman is there too, with Killstar the favorite, Underbid and Dominic's Cross. There goes another. Second circuit, Killstar now in the lead, with Underbid close on his heels in company with Red Freeman, Workman, West Point and Dominic's Cross. At the 18th jump, Killstar and Dominic's Cross are together in the lead, followed by Underbid. Beaches again, it's Killstar, Dominic's Cross, Underbid and Red Freeman going well on the inside. Two more down there. Canal turn once more. The spruce fence isn't looking quite so spruce. All safely over. Oh, well handled, sir. Royal Mail is leading in the home trail at Valentine's. Nearing home, Workman is forging ahead. He's leading McMoffitt with McDominic's cross coming up. Workman, it looks as if it's... Yes, it's Workman, it's Workman, it's Workman with McMoffitt close behind and Killstar in the middle distance. Workman wins by three lengths with McMoffitt second and Killstar 15 lengths away. And now you know how Workman did it. The winner is owned by Sir Alexander McGuire and ridden by Tim Hyde, one of Ireland's finest horsemen. Workman is the first Irish horse to win the Classic since Troy Town in 1920. An all-Irish victory. He was third last year. No wonder they call it the Grand National. It's worth nearly 10,000 pounds apart from bets, about a thousand a minute. As one wag said, 
It's nice workman, if you got it.